welcome to the series of everything you need to know about python in simplest possible way in our previous videos we have discussed so many important concepts and so many important methods regarding set right so in this video also we will be knowing one of the important method that we have in order to manipulate set so which is nothing but union so let us go ahead and see how this union works so how this union works in a way that when we have more number of elements in different sets to combine all of them all of those elements and find the unique values between different sets in such case we will be using this particular union so let us go ahead and see practically how this union works so to make you understand i will be taking set one and in this set one i will be considering some of the elements so to make you understand simply i will be taking simple elements that we have which is nothing but 10 20 30 40 in set 1 so i will be taking one more set here which is nothing but set 2 in this set 2 i will be considering 10 30 40 50 so here i am taking 10 30 40 let's say 60 here so after that if i execute this i am executing this so after this this cell is got executed you can see here so now if i use union to use union we need to mention one set at the beginning and after that we need to use this particular dot operator and after that we need to call this particular union method so to this union method we need to pass at least one parameter so if we simply pass like this and if i execute this you can able to see 10 20 30 and 40 which will be getting exactly whatever the element that we are mentioning with set 1 so we have 10 20 30 40 in set 1 because of that reason when we call simply this particular union we will be getting set 1 itself so that works fine but that is not that may not be the desired result right we can simply mention set 1 if we want set 1 elements right so if we want to have set 2 elements and set 1 and set 2 all the elements in set 1 and set 2 in such case we will be using union so here if i pass a set 2 here so i am passing set 2 as a parameter for this particular union and if i execute this you can able to see we are getting 40 and 60 additionally right so we are getting 60 additionally the reason is because if you could carefully compare both of these sets in set 1 we are having 10 in set 2 also we are having 10 in set 1 we are having 20 in set 2 we don't have 20 but in the result we are getting 20 in set 3 we have 30 in set 2 also we are having 30 set 1 set 2 also we are having 40 and in set 2 we are having 60 so whenever we are calling this particular set 1 union set 2 it will be getting all the elements present in set 1 and set 2 but set does not allow duplicate values right as a result the union function also removing the duplicates and we are getting set with the common with all the elements present in set 1 and set 2 so i hope you can able to understand that whenever we are calling this particular union it will return all the elements present in set 1 and set 2 so set does not allow duplicate values because of that reason all the duplicate values are removed and finally we are getting the elements after removing duplicate values in set 1 and set 2 so i hope you can able to understand how this union works so we are passing one set as this particular parameter for union right so can we pass more number of sets as a parameter so previously also we have seen without passing any parameter in such case we have got the set with uh, with empty so with this particular set one only we are getting right so after that when we pass set two we are getting the elements present in set one and set two by removing the duplicates right so now can we pass more number of sets for this particular union method so let us go ahead and see so to make you understand i will be taking one more set in here itself in this particular set i will be considering let's say 30 60 uh, 60 90 here so i am having 30 60 90 in set 3 so if i execute this and if i pass set 3 as a parameter for this particular union i will be executing this you can see we are getting 60 here so this particular 30 is already occurred which is repeated value right in all the sets we are having 30 because of that reason in set 
does not allow duplicate values we have got one time of this particular 30 that's enough in 60 also previously we have got 60 in set 2 right so we have got 60 also the only element that we have in set 3 which is not present in previous sets which is nothing but 90 that we are also getting here so i am demonstrating this only to explain we can pass any number of sets that we wanted for this particular union method so let's say if i have one more set here which is nothing but set 4 and in this set 4 let's say i am having 20 40 80 so 80 and 160 here so i am having four elements so 20 40 80 and 160 uh, i am executing this so if i execute this particular union by passing set to 4 here so i am passing set 4 and if i execute this we can able to see the elements 20 is already present we have got 20 40 is also already present we have got 40 this particular 80 does not occurred previously by using this particular set 4 mentioning to this particular union we are getting 80 here so after that this 160 is does not present in previous sets and by including this set 4 to union we are getting 160 also so by these examples you can able to understand clearly we can pass any number of sets to this particular union method and all the sets duplicate values will be removed and only unique values will be given from all the sets. So I hope you can able to clearly understand how this union works. So that's it for this video. Uh, to this video, we have completed all the concepts regarding sets, all the important methods regarding sets. So in the next video onwards, we will be knowing and we will be discussing some of the problems. We can solve some of the problems using set concepts and set methods. So thank you for watching this video. To stay updated with my latest videos, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever I upload any video, you will get the notification. So if you found this video interesting, hit the like button and comment whatever the thoughts that you have about this video. See you in the next one.